At this summer's police picnic, we came across two extraordinary performers, John Otway and Wild Willie Barrett. They've been back in Toronto a number of times since then, selling out their gigs and developing a growing audience. The appeal of Otway and Barrett's stage show is somewhat confusing. This isn't your average rock and roll show. In England, Otway is a big name. This is what happened when he went home to his native Aylesbury. Look out, baby! Look out, pet! Here's the kid who's going to get the blues when you go away. I'm on fire! Because I'm in love with a girl who's not the girl she was. When I was out with her, I saw you in the garden, baby, and you looked so damn up. We were all the flowers, because I'm sure they're going to get you. Although there was 15,000 people to greet him at his Aylesbury homecoming, no one was more surprised at his success than his parents, who reluctantly mortgaged their home for 5,000 pounds to finance his early career. And he used to go to the choir practice on a Friday night. Well, he'd, he'd lose his voice. Then he'd go to uh, scouts on a, on a Thursday night and shout about it, and he'd lose his voice again. He used to be always losing his voice. So I can't really think why he took to singing, because I thought, well, if he's always going to lose his voice, what a silly career to take. It really was, because he used to completely lose his voice with shouting and... I mean, he can't... He, he sings better in tune now than he did, but he can't really sing, can he? <laughs> he hasn't got a singing voice at all. Don't know why they even kept him in the choir. On their debut Canadian tour, Otway and his musical partner, Wild Willie Barrett, brought their brand of musical mayhem and fun to the Lower East Side in the Hotel Isabella. does has nothing whatsoever to do with music. He says he appeals to anyone who has a sense of humor and has done since his early school days. This whole shtick that has become John Otway and Wild Willie Barrett started when you were very young. I mean, you were, you were always looking for the applause, for the attention. Uh, I can remember somebody saying that you used to drink bottles of ink in school. That was really good for attracting a crowd. You know, you get sort of, you could get an audience of about 100 people to watch you drink a bottle of ink in one. <laughs> were you always like that? Yeah. I can't remember the time when I wasn't. What are you doing in the rock and roll business? I mean, forgive me, but even your mother said that you couldn't sing. Uh, it just seemed the easiest way to actually show off, really. Because all my heroes at that time were sort of pop stars. Sort of people like Cliff Richards and Elvis and the Beatles and all those people, so... I wanted, to, I wanted to be that famous. It was so. simply a grandstand? Yeah, I think so. I think it was just sort of a stepping stone to what I actually wanted to do. Mm -hmm. Which did include music. What was it that you wanted to do? Show off. <laughs> <laughs> John, what you and Wild Willie Barrett are doing up on stage is quite unique among the rock and roll community. How would you describe what it is that you're doing? 
Well, I, mean, I can never really <clears throat> work out what we are trying to do, you know, because it's something which has evolved over the years. And you know, I just find myself walking out on stage with that way and doing it, you know, whatever it is. I don't know what way feels, but that. <laughs> What's the first thing that comes to mind when you're out there? We're well, certainly not the money. <laughs> <laughs> bigger and bigger all the time. And so if it carries on like that, yeah. I'm gonna be happy. Can you ride an international success train, do you think, on, on this shtick that you're doing? Oh, yeah. Without doubt. It's something that can become infamous on a cult level, you think? I've never, I've never thought of it on a cult level. I've always thought it's, it's great, and it will be international, and it is not a cult thing. It's only a cult thing because at the moment the audience is all of a certain size. Mm -hmm. Once they got a lot bigger, it'll go out the coffin. Oh no, please. Bloody hell, baby's in the club. 